Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans. Jay here with Victoria Diecast Motorsport, and Group One of the Road to Rivalry Tournament is about to start. As we take a look at our tournament bracket, and a reminder on scoring, as usual, as we get set to kick off race one, Pagani, the white Pagani, in the pole position here in the front left. As they head out, Pagani leading here. Audi getting close. No, looks like Pagani still has a comfortable lead. No one really even challenging the Pagani. And the Pagani is going to win this one, it looks like. Followed by the Audi, Lamborghini, and BMW in that order. 12 8 7 1. Pretty good track time. Sub 13 is always a good time to see. As we update the scoreboard here, Pagani with the early lead. And yeah, wow, looks like uh, some contact there. Lamborghini shoved off the on the onto the rail, but was able to recover. Race two getting set to start. BMW in the front left. BMW leading. Pagani's right there. Audi and Lambo. Are, whoa, Pagani with a pass on the BMW i8. And B, ooh, and BMW tried to get by at the end there. But the Pagani blocked. 13.836. Pagani another 5 points. That's going to be 10 for Pagani. And I hope we have a replay of what just happened there because a lot happened. Yes, here we go. Pagani with the pass on the inside coming into the pond. And look at that block. Taking the BMW out. And a big nose block by the Audi actually to maintain 3rd. Race three getting set to start. Lambo in the front left corner. Lamborghini still leading. Pretty tight group there. Lamborghini still leading. A, a slide there for BMW. No one even close at this point on that Lamborghini Aventador. BMW looks like second place. Lamborghini uncontested. 12.939, great sub-13 track time. So five points for Lamborghini. Update the scoreboard. Lamborghini, with that, has jumped into second place. Race four getting set to start. Audi, front left. Here they go. Audi still maintaining the lead. And a spin out for the Audi. Lamborghini gets by, and the Audi is shoved off the track on turn four. DNF there for... The Audi, very unfortunate. Lamborghini, way ahead once again. Followed by BMW and Pagani. Lamborghini, another five points. And the Audi DNF, as we saw earlier at turn four. 12, 9, 8, 4 on the clock. And with that, as we update the scoreboard, there's your two advancers, Pagani and Lamborghini. So we look at that replay, the Audi spins out after exiting turn two. Just sort of gets pushed off the track there. And there's your two roadsters who are advancing to the finale. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans. Jay here with Vittoria Diecast Motorsport. Group two of the Roadster Rivalry Tournament. About to start racing here as we look at our bracket. Pagani and Lamborghini advance to the finals. So which two out of this group? Group of four will advance as we get set to start race one. Ferrari in the front left corner as they take off. Ferrari lead. Oh, and the Aston Martin gets by the Ferrari. Jumps from second to first in that race. Aston Martin still maintaining that lead. And it looks like the Aston Martin's going to take that one, followed by the Ferrari and then the McLaren and Jaguar lagging behind in third and fourth. 12 3 3 2 very fast time for the aston martin we're going to want to keep an eye on that one that is a very fast time as we update the scoreboard getting set to race two. Oh, and here's the replay of that aston martin making a great move on turn two exit on the inside line race two here we go jaguar on the front left corner as they take off Jaguar maintaining that lead, followed closely by the Ferrari, and the Aston Martin's in the mix too. Ferrari tries to make a pass, gets blocked by the Jaguar. Jaguar still maintaining the lead. Tight group of three coming down to the line, but it looks like the Jaguar is going to win that one. 12-8-48 on the clock. Five points for the Jaguar. 
updating the scoreboard here. Jaguar with a, a move up there in rank. Look at that block. Great little nose block by the Jaguar on the Ferrari. And it actually paid off. Was able to win that race. Here we go. Race three, McLaren. Front left corner. As they start, Aston Martin makes a double pass, it looked like. I believe that was a double pass on the inside line for the Aston Martin. And it looks like the Aston Martin's going to win that one with a big nose block there by the McLaren. But if I'm not mistaken, the Aston Martin started in the back right corner and actually passed three cars in that race. As we take a look at the replay, it had already gotten by the Ferrari and makes a double pass on the McLaren and the Jaguar exiting turn two just before coming into turn three. Incredible move. Aston Martin now actually has the pole position after winning two races already. And no one even coming close. The Jaguar is trying to catch up. But the Aston Martin is so fast. Looks like another win for Aston Martin. 12-3-5-5. That's three wins for the Aston Martin. As we update the scoreboard, let's see who's advancing. Obviously the Aston Martin. And the Jaguar is going to come in, in second place there. So there's your two uh, roasters advancing to the finals. Definitely want to keep an, an eye on that Aston Martin. Well, hey, everybody. Jay here with Victoria Diecast Motorsport. And here are your four finalists of the Roadster Rivalry Tournament. Getting set to race. We've watched them in the group stages. And now we are ready to see who is going to win this tournament. Race one, Aston Martin in the pole position. If you remember in the group stage, Aston Martin V12 Speedster did very well. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how the Aston Martin does in the finale. Right now leading this race, a nose block on the Pagani. And looks like the Aston Martin's going to kick things off with five points. 13.903, not as fast as usual, but a win is a win. Five points for Aston Martin as we get set for race two. A little replay on that nose block maneuver on the Pagani. Race two, Jaguar pole position. As they take off, Jaguar is still leading out of turn two. It's a little get sideways. Lamborghini just went off the track at turn three exit. Jaguar in reverse and gets slammed by the Pagani. Is now going forward again. And it looks like the Aston Martin just DNF'd right before the line. Lamborghini DNF'd at a turn three. And yes, Aston Martin DNF there. The Pagani put a very strange block on the Aston Martin. Jaguar with that win has gone to the top of the board. As we take a look at some of the action here. Lamborghini off the track out of Slam Man's corner. Pagani actually made a pass there on Aston Martin. Then attempts to pass the Jaguar, but it slams into the Jaguar. And then puts a block on the Aston Martin, giving the Pagani second place and DNFing the Aston Martin. Here we go, race three. Lamborghini this time in the pole position. It's pretty close at the top of the board. Seven, six, and five points I saw. Lamborghini still leading this one pretty comfortably. It looks like an easy win there for Lamborghini, who's going to need that to stay in this tournament before race four. And I do not see the Pagani. Looks like Pagani's got a DNF there coming into turn seven. 12, 8, 9, 4 on the clock for the Lamborghini. Good track time. Desperately needed those five points. Even with that, has six points right now. And here we go for race four. Final race here. Pagani in the pole position is leading right now. Has a pretty comfortable lead. Lamborghini trying to chase the Pagani down. It's getting a little closer. But Pagani still has the lead. And oh, that might have been a pass there for Lamborghini. Yes, it looks like we might have a photo finish. But I believe the Lamborghini just took that one. We gave the five points to it. And Jaguar, I believe, made a move as well. So there we go. 
12 points for Jaguar, 11 for Lamborghini. Your top two in the Roadster rivalry finale. Look at that photo finish. Lamborghini passes Pagani just before the line, and Jaguar makes a move on the Aston Martin, bumping both the Jaguar and Lamborghini into the top two slots. Congratulations to them. They're going to advance to our end-of-season finale. And there's your Roadster rivalry champion, the Jaguar F-Type Project 7. Congratulations to it. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time here on Vittoria Diecast Motorsport.